Hey folks, I'm Nick Hawks with Gristle King. I'm gonna walk you through what you should do for POC V11. If you don't wanna watch the video, I get it. All you have to do is correctly assert your antenna gain. So make sure you go to your app, put in whatever the gain is of your antenna, subtract out your cable loss. So if you've got 100 feet of LMR 400, subtract 3.9 from your antenna gain, enter that in, and go do something else productive. For those of you that wanna get into the details and the weeds, I will, I'm gonna go through it. I'll tell you right now, this is probably not how a radio engineer would explain it, but this makes the math really simple and the whole thing easy to understand. So let's start at the beginning, which was what was happening before POC V11. You could take your miner, I'll talk just US miners right now, I know different miners output different powers in different regions, but in the US, a miner outputs 27 dBm, decibel milliwatts. So if you just plugged in your miner and it came with a stock antenna, the stock antenna is 1.2 dB, so your output was 27, which is what the miner is putting out, plus 1.2, which is the gain from the stock antenna, so 28.2 dBm is what your miner is putting out, right? So, so far, so good. What happens though is that not everyone uses the stock antenna. So you might have someone either receiving or transmitting on a higher gain antenna. That gain, I'll talk about this in other things, but it basically it shapes the, the pattern of energy so that the energy is focused. So that in some certain direction, whether it's off to the side or it's wide out or whatever it is, the gain, the, the numbers reported are higher or lower. Really the numbers actually existing are higher or lower. So let's say you have someone, or let's say you, decided to use a 9 dBi gain antenna. You've got your 27, I'm just going to stop with the dBms and dBis because it's going to confuse you. you got your, 20, your miner pushing out 27, right? On top of that, you stacked a 9 antenna. 27 plus 9 is 36. So now your miner is pushing out 36. All well and good, right? You would think that 36 is bigger than 27, so it's gonna go further, it's gonna go better. I've talked about in other, end, uh, other videos how that doesn't really matter, but for right now, we'll just assume, okay, you're at 36. If another miner around you hasn't upgraded, they're at 28.2, right? Which is the, the, the miner is 27, the stock antenna is 1.2, so they're at 28.2. So think of it this way, is you're pushing out, uh, here's on the transmit side, you're pushing out 36, okay? And then on the receive side, they are receiving at 28.2. And remember we got to these, so this is 27 plus 1.2, and this is 27 plus nine. Okay, here's where I'm going in the land that the RF engineers will be like, dude, you can't say it that way, but this makes it really easy to understand. What should happen in a perfect world, as I'm going to draw a line here for the, the should part, is that this should, a stock antenna, is going out at 28.2, and the stock antenna receiving is at 28.2. And so think of this side as the plus side and this side as the minus side. Okay, What you should get for the reported receipts right, is minor A transmitted, minor B received, um, it transmitted at this power, it received at this power. What should happen, and I know this is not the way our engineer would um, explain it, but, and you may not be able to see it, I'm sorry, I'm just setting up this whiteboard or this, this video set up now, is we should have a zero in the middle, right? Is that there was plus 28.2 on one side, there was minus 28.2 on the other side, so in the middle is a zero. That's not how they do it, but that's that would indicate a, a good transmission, right? The correct amount of power, sent out, the correct amount of power received, we're good. What happens in the top case where one side has upgraded their antenna is this number isn't zero, all right? This number is 36 minus 28.2, okay? So that ends up being, what is that? Um, oh, geez, carry the one. Um, good Christ, you'd think I could do this in my head, but no. All right, it's going to be 7.8. Okay, embarrassing, but uh, there it is. There's my public math. So 7.8 is the gain. Now, it's supposed to be zero. Remember that with decibels, every three decibels is a doubling in power. So 7.8 is not just double the power. It's not even quadruple the power. It's more than quadruple the power. So that can look like an invalid witness. It looks like something happened 
Maybe it looks like someone was cheating. Maybe it looks like someone was overpowering or pushing out too much power. Whatever it is, many times that will be an invalid witness because it's not what's supposed to be happening. POCV11 is what's supposed to solve this whole thing, right? So with POCV11, what should happen is all of the, the receipts for any transaction for the witness and the transmit side should be at zero. How is Helium making that happen? They're saying, look, you correctly assert your antenna gain and we will make it so that your radio is outputting the correct amount of power so that all radios are both um, outputting or transmitting and receiving the correct amount of power. All right, so how, how would that look here? is that the same person says like, hey, I want a higher gain antenna, I want my nine. So these sides both start out with 27, right? Because that's what the radio puts out. This person decides they're gonna play by the rules and they say, okay, cool. I'm gonna use a nine dB um, I gain antenna. So there's the nine, 27 plus nine is 36. What helium is gonna do, let me get my little, I don't know if you can even see that. Um, but trust me, 27 plus 9 is 36. What Helium is going to do is say, okay, you've asserted, you've, you've said that you've got a 9 dBi gain antenna. Cool. We're going to reduce your power output by 9 so that the power leaving your antenna is actually 27. It's the same across the board. It should be the same across the board for every miner. So they're going to say minus 9, right? This was a plus 9. And this is going to bring you back down to 27, which is what gets pushed out. Same thing happens on the far side. This person is at 27. They're running a stock antenna, 1.2, right? So that gives us 28.2. And Helium says, okay, you're running the stock antenna at negative 1.2, cool. We're gonna subtract 1.2 and you're gonna be receiving at 27. So we got plus 27 on the transmit side. We got minus 27 on the receive side. Our middle number is zero. Zero is what Helium is looking for. Now that's not how it actually works, but this is the easiest way to explain it, okay. So if zero is what we're looking for, what happens if you don't say that you have a high gain antenna, but you are running one, right? You're gonna run into the problem we just ran into, which is that you are gonna be secretly, you're not gonna have this in here. You're gonna have the plus nine. You're not gonna let helium do the minus nine. So you're gonna be running at 36. The receiver is gonna be running at um, 27. And there is gonna be a difference of what's 36 minus 27? Yeah, it's nine. Okay. So instead of zero, which is what you should have, there's going to be a plus nine to that equation. And that is going to mean that both your beacon reward and their witness reward will be invalidated because nine is not double, right? Because every three is doubling. It's not quadruple because now we're at six. Um, it's not even, what is it? Octuple times eight. So two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Uh, it's actually, it is octuple. It's way more fucking power than it's supposed to be. Right? So it's gonna get invalidated. So that is why it's so important to correctly put in the gain of your antenna and include the loss from your cables. Now the loss from cables freaks people out, but if you just Google cable loss and put in at your frequency and the number of feet you got and the right number of cable, it'll spit out what your cable loss is. At 100 feet of LMR 400, it's, what is it, negative 3.9. So just to do that math for you super fast, I, I th well, actually, I think that's the POCV11 stuff done. We'll just do this cable loss thing real quick so you know what to input if you're running, if in this case you're running a 9 dBi antenna with 100 feet of LMR400 cable. So I'll erase all this stuff. Hopefully this makes a ton of sense. All right, and we should be pretty darn close to done here. I'll just erase this for general purpose. So you've got your 27 that your miner's putting out, pushing out. You've got the nine that you got from the gain from the antenna. And then if you're running 100 feet of LMR 400, it's a negative 3.9, which you can look up on, on the Googs. So negative 3.9. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these two numbers and add them together. So nine, in this case, minus 3.9. Uh, nine minus four is five. So minus 3.9 is going to be 4.1. Sorry, 5.1, 5.1, man, my public math is embarrassing, is what you're going to enter into your app, right? That is the gain from the antenna and the loss from the cable. And that is what is going to make it so that Helium can correctly tune your radio to push out the right amount of dB, right? So in this case, it'll be um, 27 minus 5.1 is what it'll end up putting out. I'm not gonna do that math in public. I've done enough uh, embarrassing math in public. Hopefully all that makes sense. 
Um, rock and roll, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I'm sure I screwed up some math equation, but that's basically what it is. Just think about it this way, is that there's your minor output, there's your antenna gain, Helium is we're gonna, gonna reduce your minor output by the gain so that everybody is on the same level playing field. Those of you who don't enter it correctly, you're probably gonna get dinged. What is that fudge rate gonna be or what is that error rate gonna be? I'm gonna guess, and I don't have any uh, information to back this up, but this is my guess. I bet within one or two dB, you're probably not gonna get dinged for it because that can happen just with attenuation, just with like going through trees or maybe it bounces off some metal building. I bet one or two dB, no big deal. Beyond that, I think we're gonna have um, you're gonna you're gonna get your your rewards uh, clipped. They're gonna be invalidated. Okay, thanks a ton for watching. Hopefully this helps you. Rock on. Have a Crystal King day and make a ton of H and T lights.